Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today's video will be about an action and comedy movie released in 2017, called Part-Time Spy. Well then, without further ado, let's dive right in. The movie starts with our protagonist, Zhang, who is an informal worker who is trying to land a job as a civil worker. She tries very hard to apply many times, and yet she never got accepted. One day, she finally gets the call that she's getting a two-year contract in one of the government agencies, making her life colorful again. A few years later, she is on the train on her way to work when she sees a pickpocket stealing a woman's wallet. She tries to stay silent but fails, instead, grabbing the thief and pleading him to return the wallet. A female detective who's there on a case, Na, sees the commotion and notices the thief, so she beats him up in front of everyone. However, she goes too far, and her team has to hold her back. Zhang finally arrives at her office. Apparently, she is working for the National Security Agency, or NSA. She gets called by the deputy department head, Mr. Park, to come into his office. He reveals that her contract is almost over, but her other colleague has outperformed her, so she is now fired. After Zhang leaves, Mr. Park receives a call from the Foreign Office's Vice Minister, who is about to retire and wants Mr. Park's department to send them $500,000 if he wants his position. He agrees to send it immediately and they plan to meet tomorrow to talk about the position. The next day, Mr. Park tries to call the Vice Minister's number but it says that the number is wrong. He then calls the Foreign Office officially and asks for the Vice Minister, but he seems to never have talked to Mr. Park before. From the chief financial officer, he finds out that he has been scammed by a fishing company. Zhang, who was in front of his office to ask for her unemployment paperwork, overhears the whole thing and offers to help Mr. Park. He refuses and calls everyone to ask if there's an agent who can look into the scam, but when nobody is available, he has to go to Zhang for help. He's offering her a chance for a permanent position in the NSA if she succeeds in proving that this one company is the one that scammed him, and to get his money back. Zhang agrees to do it. She starts working for the fishing company to get information to confirm their scam, and on her first day orientation, she almost gets caught snooping by the company's handsome president, Mr. Mean. In orientation, Mr. Mean seems to be very welcoming to his employees. The department head, Yang, tells them that they just successfully scammed the NSA for $500,000, confirming Mr. Park's suspicion of the company. Meanwhile, Zhang spots Detective Na in the office, seeming to be working there also. She goes to the toilet to report to Mr. Park that this is the company that scammed him, but also tells her that an undercover detective is working there. Mr. Park concludes that the police is also planning to catch the head of the company, and tells Jan to lay low. That would be hard to do because she gets assigned to a table next to Na. Jang's first day of work is tough. When she takes a break, another employee named Song buys her a drink and cheers her up. Her support drives Zhang to do better at work, and not long after, she manages to scam many people through her various knowledge and is celebrated by the whole office. That night, the company goes to a bar to celebrate Zhang who is named as the MVP of the office. They party, drink, and dance together. Meanwhile, Na sneaks into the president's room and takes his SIM card to scan with a gadget. In the middle of it, a drunk Zhang comes in blabbering nonsense, surprising Na before leaving for the toilet. Na finishes her task quickly and rejoins the party. When Zhang comes out of the toilet, he meets Mr. Mean and thanks him for appreciating her work. She then passes out on him, and in the morning, she wakes up with a hangover. She gets a call from Mr. Park who saw her partying from the spy camera she's wearing and scolds her for not laying low. She promises to do better before he hangs up. Somewhere else, Na is calling her partner from the police about the SIM card from last night. He says that they are working on it, but the chief wants her to get some evidence before quietly pulling out. That night, Zhang sneaks into the office to find clues in Mr. Min's office. She finds nothing, and the PC is also password locked, so Mr. Park tells her to place a camera there and get out. At the same time, Na is also sneaking into the office to find the evidence needed, but she bumps into Zhang before they fight. They are so loud that the security guard finds them fighting, so Na beats him up before the two ladies run away into an unlocked van and drive off. Unfortunately, the guard is following them, and they get involved in a high-speed chase with a drunk stranger in the back of the taxi. Zhang drives really well and manages to lose the guard before also getting into an accident. The next day, Na visits Mr. Park to warn the NSA to pull out of their investigation before storming out. 
Mr. Park then meets up with the police chief, Gu, to pressure them to stop their investigation, as NSA is the superior institution. Gu thinks that Mr. Park is hiding something, so instead the two agree to work together and make this a joint operation. At the office, Na talks to Zhang about backing off the case before they both receive a call from their bosses, telling them to work together. They are upset about it, but their bosses say to not trust the other party and prioritize their own goals. On their way back, Yang calls them to his office to send them off to do face-to-face -face fishing. They are sent to a park to scam an old man who's giving them the money for his wife's surgery. Zhang feels bad and hesitates to take it, but because Yang is watching them, Na decides to grab the money, and then leaves. They argue about what happened. Na says that they need to focus on catching the head, so that innocents like the old man are stopped getting scammed. Back in the office, Na comes into Yang's room and seduces him awkwardly to make him go out on a dinner with her. Mr. Park is looking at the camera footage to figure out Mr. Min's computer password, but the camera becomes broken because Mr. Min waters his plant. Meanwhile, Na is having drinks with Yang, while Zhang is drinking with Song. They both try to find out more about the chairman of the company. Zhang finds out that nobody has seen the chairman and apparently, Mr. Min is his son. Na finds out that the company is going to do a big scam soon. Na agrees to sleep with Yang to get more info, and she scans his SIM card while he is showering. Fortunately, Yang injures his crotch and Na doesn't have to do it anymore. She then meets her partner, who gives her info about Mr. Min's SIM card. There are only two numbers stored there, Yang's and a chicken feet restaurant's number. We also see Mr. Park putting a tracking device under Mr. Min's car. The next day, Na and Zhang share the information they got last night. They think what the police scanned is Mr. Min's secondary phone. The office is crowding a table of a worker that's missing. Song is worried because the worker, Yun, lives with her child alone. Na plans to go seduce Mr. Min while telling Zhang to check out Yun's house. Zhang doesn't like the plan because she has a crush on the president, so she sulks at the bus station. But then, Mr. Min stops his car to offer a ride for Zhang. He's always kind to her, even offering to have dinner together. Zhang suggests going to a chicken feet restaurant, and when he takes her home, he gives her his number. Na who is waiting for Zhang approaches her, saying they need to talk. When they come to her room, it's very run down and ugly, just like my room. Apparently, she took her old room's deposit to pay back the old man's money for his wife's surgery. Feeling bad, Na tells Zhang to move in with her, since she's also part of the scam. When they are at Na's place, she tells Zhang that Yun hasn't been home either. She's worried something bad happened because she overheard Yun pleading to Yang to return some money to a mother that she scammed. They bond that night, and Na agrees to be Zhang's friend. From then on, they start to scam only bad people who deserve it, like corruptors and cheating husbands. They drink to celebrate their good deed and have some fun. When Na wakes up the next day, she accidentally receives a call to Jiang's phone from Mr. Park, who is scolding Jiang, revealing that she's not actually an NSA agent like Na believed she is. The police look into her identity, and find out that she was only a contract worker before being fired. In the fishing office, it's time to do the big scam. Na volunteers to be part of it and pushes Jiang to do the same. They are going to scam the army's logistic department. Mr. Park pretending to be the army's chief of staff, saying that they need more money because prices of uniforms and equipment have risen. He successfully convinces the colonel, and Zhang reports the scam to be more than $500,000. Mr. Park tells her to bring the money to him once she has it, but she seems hesitant to do it. She says to Na that she must be used to this because she's a detective, but Na says that being an NSA agent is on another level. They drive home, but unfortunately, their conversation was heard by Song. The girls are sent to collect the briefcase full of money, pretending to be army personnel. They successfully take it, but when they are outside, a man knocks their briefcase with a similar briefcase, both falling before he takes one and leaves. Zhang takes the opportunity to run away with the briefcase. Na chases her around, even throwing a plate at her until she gets cut. Zhang manages to escape on a military truck, so Na drives her car and tells her team to raid the fishing company's office right now. Suddenly, her car is stopped by another car filled with Yang and his men. They fight and eventually catch her to be kidnapped. Zhang comes to the restaurant where Mr. Park is, only to see him already having the briefcase. It turns out their briefcase was swapped by the guy from earlier, who works for Mr. Park. The briefcase she's holding only has blank paper in it. Mr. Park reveals that he never once considered hiring Zhang again. 
She begs for a job on the floor, but Mr. Park just takes his briefcase and leaves. In the car, he's excited to open it and get his money, but instead, it only contains blank paper. Apparently, Zhang swapped their cases when she's begging on the floor. Meanwhile, in the fishing office, the police come but are too late as everything is already gone. They worry about Na because they can't reach her or Zhang. One of them say he will look into the NSA. In a bus station, Zhang calls Mr. Mean to ask where Na is. We see Na tied up to a chair, trying to cut the rope loose while her captors taunt her. She manages to cut it and beats up the two guys before Mr. Mean comes in and holds a gun to her head. He tells Zhang that Na is fine, and gives the phone to her. Zhang tells Na that she's coming to save her even though Na is mad at her and says not to come. Zhang gets picked up by Yang in Mr. Min's car. Mr. Park, who traced the car, follows it while he is also followed by the police officer. He calls his chief to say that he's heading to the harbor and they are probably smuggling the money out of the country. The police prepare to ambush the harbor. Zhang arrives and drops the suitcase to help Na. They then get tied up together, and Mr. Min reveals that he's actually the chairman. He leaves them with a couple of vicious dogs and leaves to get picked up by a boat. The girls manage to subdue the dogs and Na makes the boat drive away using a false signal. Mr. Min's men fight her, then Mr. Park arrives with a gun only to be caught in a net by Zhang. Mr. Min runs from the police, even shooting Yang to distract them, and hides alone. Zhang finds him and they fight, but she loses and becomes his hostage. Na gets mad at Mr. Mean for catching Zhang and underestimating her, so she grabs a gun and throws it as a distraction, so Zhang can slam him down and knock him out. The police catch all the bad guys, and in the last scene, Zhang and Na are chatting and joking around by the harbor. That is the end of the recap, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and smash the subscribe button so you won't miss any new videos from us. Also tell us what movie should we recap for you next in the comment section below. See you next time.